no problem, no order of difficulties. It was totally transferred. The power of God is, is literally transcends the belief in, in any kind of error or sickness. And as you're saying, when we talk about atonement though, that's, that's like a different breed. In other words, Jesus talks about <coughs> miracles and he even named it, of course, in miracles. But he does talk about the atonement as being this like unequivocal force. <coughs> He's even got a section in his, in his text called The Last Unanswered Question. Anybody come across that one in the course? This is addressing what you're talking about. It's called The Last Unanswered Question. Where basically, he says, here's a question, here's a question, here's a question. And he gives four questions. But he says, the fourth one is different than the first three. You may want happiness. You know, you may want these certain things, but, but the fourth question is what he calls the last unanswered question. In order to experience who you really are, you have to be able to answer the last unanswered question. It's really cool. It's almost like to tell the truth. It's an old show, you know, it's like a game show. All right! It's like Slumdog Millionaire. All right, we made it down to the final round, the atonement round. Uh, this one's for all the marbles, the kingdom of heaven, nirvana. And what is the last unanswered question? Jesus says, the last unanswered question is, do I want to see what I denied because it is the truth? Do I want to see what I denied because it is the truth? What's he talking about? Do I want to see what I deny because it is the truth? God, spiritual vision, you know, all those workbook lessons, you know, I am determined to see above all else, I want to see things differently. Spiritual vision was denied in order for this world to seem to arise. A, a shadow world, a world of images. That's the Bible say, make no graven images before the Lord thy God. He's not talking about totem poles, <laughs> golden calves, he's talking about the cosmos. Those are what the graven images are. Planets, spheres, stars, people, mountains, blades of grass, tulips, everything. You know, they always used to say, only God can make a tree. No. <laughs> Sorry. God is spirit. God creates the spirit. God doesn't make trees. The ego made the trees. Uh, the ego made all the images. And, and if, once you start to see what I you know, what I deny, what I really see what I denied, and, and because it is a truth, what I see spiritual vision, which is what was denied, because it is the truth, the spiritual vision is the vision of Christ, and that's available, that's always available, that is never not available. So in the end, that's really way down in the mind what it comes down to. It can seem to be a matter of time, it can seem to be a matter of what we'll call it readiness, soul readiness, but in the end it comes down to, to the willingness to see what was denied. To literally see with spiritual vision, which is what revelation is about, you know, which is have, having the light openly revealed. Even in near-death experiences they talk about going through the tunnel and seeing relatives and and so forth. But then when they go into the light, the words fail. They just say, it was like I knew everything. I knew everything that there was to know in that light. And it's unspeakable. Well, that is spiritual vision. 